Hi, welcome everyone. Today we'll try to see if we can monitor the Docker uh, in these updates. Uh, we already have the ZMX agent installed on the in this Docker node and it's being monitored in the ZMX. So, what we'll do that on the node, here is the node. Yes, so you will see that install the ZMX agent on the Docker node. Is already running. Let me show you. You can do it. Say this is X agent to status. So it's already running. So what we have to do now, we have to add this agent to the ZLS to the Docker group for monitoring it. So we will copy this command. Add it. Oops, this one as well. Okay. Okay. That is done. So what we do? We will restart the ZX server. So this is going to start. Call is done. Now, what we will do on the front end of the ZX, we will add this node in a Docker template. So, in the template, we will search for Docker. Yeah, Docker by ZX agent 2. Make sure that you are. Agent should be ZX agent to uh, for board of monitor. Update it. Okay. So we'll try to restart the Docker on the remote. We'll start and stop the Docker. So let's see, we have. Rovers and IP address too. Let's try the containers. Start and put the name. Okay. And then we check the status. Now we see that. Up the other one as well. Start. And this is also running. Here. Check the status. Okay, the one is still. Okay, okay. Anyway, we have. One Docker running. So let's see if we can find the latest data recording with Docker dash monitoring latest data and see Docker. Okay, so we are getting the Docker related data from the node. This is the node name Docker one. So let us stop the Docker. Let's see what happens. Let's do the remote. Good. Stop. This is stopped. And now this is check for the dash PCC. Alert. We'll save the Docker template first. And we we'll are able to make some uh, changes in time for the trigger to go. So we we'll go to templates and here. Search the name Docker and the Docker with 
the center we go to triggers and the trigger make sure that the flash data trigger should be in by depending on the time we will be default with 30 minutes change to one minute next it and okay let's go we have to change this to one minute let's trigger We can update from here 30 minutes to 1 minute and update it. Same, we can change here. Now we go to note for changing the stopping containers or killing containers to have some triggers. And uh, we'll see on the dashboard about that. The change will be in 30 seconds. Let's stop the containers. The container now we have everything in a good state. Let's see on the dashboard. Yes, we got the note. Let's start it again and see what happens. Now the container is up again. Now the error is gone. Okay, we see that the container template is working. Thanks for watching.